Hi there YouTubers, Big G back again and uh, it's Saturday morning and uh, I've just been out on my rounds I went and visited three or four garage sales um, not too much to even you know write home about it's been actually very quiet I went to all the auction sites had a look there the local ones around here absolutely nothing I must say hunting in the wild is becoming more and more difficult I think as people have been cleaning out their attics and their lofts over the last couple of years I think things are just going to get more and more difficult to find good retro systems out there and uh, it's a pity because I, you know, there's nothing like finding something out in the wild. Um, you know, you can hunt online, you know, game chasing, you know, looking at eBay. But that's more like canned hunting as far as I, I can see. I mean, you see the article, you want the article, you buy the article. You're not really searching for it. Uh, I prefer hunting out there, you know, actually doing real game chasing uh, and, and looking for it out in the wild. Uh, one, you get it a lot cheaper. Uh, it's a lot more fun. It's always part of the of the uh, excitement of walking into a garage sale and seeing a system and seeing geez look at this and trying not to be excited and, and trying to get it for as cheaply as possible uh, and, uh, and you know and hopefully it works so this morning went out and uh, had a look and the only thing really that I picked up this morning was another Philips G7000 actually in very nice condition um, you can see the keyboard is really clean not marked I just dusted it off and I'm sure it works. I mean, these machines are really robust, uh, basically bulletproof. Uh, most of them work. I think it's about the fifth one that I've got in my collection. So this one I'm sure be used for trade. So anybody out there looking for a Philips G7000 in good condition, let me know. Um, there's always a lot of other goodies that I'm after. And uh, got a couple of Atari carts. Uh, this was this was online, canned hunting, as I call it. Uh, Kaboom and what's this here? Shark Attack and the reason why I actually wanted the lot was the uh, Planet Patrol uh, from Spectrovision. This is a better uh, quality or a far better condition than the one that I have in my current collection so this is part of an upgrade. I always like to upgrade the carts that I've got and then the old ones I'll use as trade or, or sell them off or whatever. Um, this here Stampede and Star Master. So some nice Atari carts. Um, I'll try to do some plays on these later as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it lately. As I said, very slim pickings, guys. Not much around. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but you know the prices on eBay have absolutely skyrocketed. And especially for those of us whose currencies are really weak, um, it's becoming incredibly expensive to actually get anything online. I, I don't know what's happening out there. Maybe the, the, the hobby is becoming more and more popular and you know the normal laws of supply and demand kick in. So as the supply dwindles the demand increases and with an increase in demand you're going to get an increase in prices. Because you know some of these sites and some of the stuff that's going online is going at astronomical prices. I don't know who's actually buying that stuff. I, I can't see guys buying it. It's just incredibly expensive unless there's just too much money out there. And, uh, you know, especially, you know, this is turning into a bit of a ramble, but, yeah, um, what, what I've been after is some of the SD card solutions for some of the systems. Now, if you have a look at the MSX system, there's, there's some really good solutions out there. You get a, uh, I think it's called the MicroFlash SSD system. It comes with a dual uh, SD ports on the top there. It comes extra 512K of RAM. But my God, the price of the thing, I think it's 85 euro or something like that. Um, then you've got the uh, divide card for the Spectrum. I'd love one of those. Again, I think it's about 49 pound. You know, when you convert that into my currency, and you know, you're looking at close on, you know, basically a thousand rand for a card in order to play old retro games. And I don't like using emulators. You know, all my gameplays I try to do on original hardware as far as possible. But, you know, it becomes very tedious trying to load a game on a Spectrum, either using the good old uh, tape recorder and loading it the old-fashioned way, or even hooking it up to your PC and loading a WAV file or loading an MP3 file or something like that. It's still time-consuming. It takes a lot of time, a lot of fiddling and faffing. Far easier to have an SD solution um, in order to load games. But I just find that 
they are incredibly expensive. It doesn't matter which system I look at, um, whether I want a solution for the Commodore systems, solution for the Sinclair machines, uh, you know, for the MSX machines, they're all incredibly expensive. And I don't know why the guys are doing that. I mean, maybe somebody has any comments on that. I can't see those systems costing that much money to make. And I, can't, I really can't see those guys out there actually getting rich off this. Surely they could sell more systems if they dropped the prices on it, made it more affordable. So, you know, I'll just keep browsing around, um, you know, so just a bit of a moan from me. You know, pickings have been slim. I'd love to get some stuff on, online to mess around with. But, I mean, the prices are just crazy. Well, guys, what are your thoughts on that? Let me know uh, in the comments down there. Otherwise, I'm off to go watch my son play rugby. Uh, I think it's his last match of the year. He's in his grade 12 at the moment, next year's varsity. So it's his last match, and uh, let's see how he does. Hopefully he wins. Cheers, guys.